this is not easy. And frankly, most people in, at this conference will need to convince their CEOs that they need to think differently. Uh, and that is one of the main challenges that exist as we go forward. Success, as we said this morning, hinges on talent. And so you could now go through what is it the kind of new talent that I need as we go through this evolution. Right now, we know, because we have talked about this in this press event over the course of the last uh, four years, is we know that the world is about the platform I use is cloud, data, um, collaboration, uh, and then of course um, everything that is mobile. That flows into what I need in terms of skill set. I need to understand that it is all about mobile first. I can't do anything with any application unless it is something that is designed for mobile. I need more people that understand how to actually take that data and make it useful. That's data sciences. And then in the middle, the main thing is you, if you are bimodal, then you need people that understand how users act. This was Richard Hunter's example this morning, which is watch what people do and design applications on that basis, not what they tell you they want because they don't know. Then we move into, okay, so 24 months from now, we get to the inflection point of the Internet of Things, which means that certain industries start to actually have more and more of these in either their products or, for example, their supply chain. So now I need this kind of skill set. I need smart machines. I need Internet of Things capability. I need robotics. I need now to understand that I live in this economy of algorithms. And I need ethics and security, risk. Ethics because I need to understand what is actually right and wrong uh, in terms of how I engage my customers. There are different kinds of customer sets. Um, I also therefore need to understand things around uh, how I deal with risk. And, and that becomes critical capability. Risk flows into the full time frame of this because security and risk becomes a core capability of investment. It is the fastest growing part of an IT budget now uh, and therefore is something that we need more and more skills on. But I need integration skills, I need digital architects, and I need people that understand the regulatory environment. Uh, because I understand that regulators which exists to protect citizens and sometimes protect us generally from things that can go wrong. We've seen that in the financial services industry globally. They are probably also in some instances the entity that slows down progress anywhere in the world. And so we see regulators as good because they protect us as consumers like we've seen through the financial crisis that has happened. But sometimes we also have to ask ourselves, do they understand what's happening? Because if Apple is a bank, which it is, and Google is a bank, should they be governed by the same regulation as banks? Because they are not now. Uh, if Uber across the globe is a transportation and taxi company, should they be governed by the same regulation as taxi companies? I'll let you decide that. The point is, regulatory expertise becomes important. Uh, good. So that's a little bit of an overview of some of the things you'll see through the event, uh, some of the things we talked about at the open.